Hello everyone and welcome into another week and with a new week we have another set of daily races. We got daily race A which is quite surprising in here because we actually got tuning. You can change the body height, you can change the dampening, uh, you can change the natural frequency and the setup that I did is going to be linked down in the description. So daily race B we got Catalonia 5 laps 16 cars as per usual it's just about 10 minutes not much more and we got Watkins Glen long course in group Four. What is really surprising about this one is that you have to do one mandatory stop so we don't have any requirements when it comes to tires nothing just you have to do one mandatory stops and you don't have to change the tires and this is what really makes a difference so all of the other cars that you can see here in the global leaderboards with all of these cars you have to change the tires and these cars are not exactly the greatest i mean i tried it you completely shred the tires and you have to change the tires in the race but with some of the other cars so you can take the gr supra or the v v8 vantage to do your qualifying lap but you have like two to three options in the race you can either use the corvette which i've seen it's kind of okay you can use the gt citroen or you can use well i tried it once and it was the alpha 4c it's a decent car but i would suggest take the citroen gt and eventually you don't even have to change the tires you can just do a quick pit pit stop it's just a stop and go penalty and you can get away with it so you will have an advantage that is just about three to four seconds so it's not something that it's small definitely do the qualifying with one car and do the race with another so yeah i did a pretty decent one so we can go check it out but yeah let's just focus on this one let's get a couple of places or at least i can try to get a couple of places here and uh yeah there is Josetti behind This bandage has a lot of straight line speed here. I think I'm gonna need the radar. There we go now. Should I send it? No. It's too early. And he has the speed. I'm just okay. Under four seconds to the lead. I think I got the pace, but the problem is that if we start fighting now, we might lose a lot of time. So, if they don't pit, I'm going to pit. Okay, most of them didn't. Oh, he got a half a second straight away. Do not change to another refuel, so that's the strategy. No. No nothing, just it's a stop and go penalty. And off we go. No penalties, only he has the penalty, which is a half a second penalty. So it's not much. I think Citroen is the best card for this one. You can also use the Alpha 4C. Seems like a good card. Don't go, don't go, don't go. And that's the problem with the Alpha. It's like very, very sketchy over the curbs. And now I went for it. The door was open. Oh. Okay. That's one free place, isn't it? A 1.2, I can get it, I can get the slip back. Okay. 
bad exit. I didn't lose too much time in the pits. Nor did I on the straight. Okay, I think I got it now. 1.2. Did I get a good exit? 1.1. I think I got it. Okay. 13th place. But I need to get the slip here. Closer and closer and closer. That's nice. I'm not losing that much on the leader. I only lost like two tenths. So it's not much. Gotcha, straight line. Not the fastest lap in the world, but it was it was clean. on the curb, never mind. Let's see now, who is that? That's Jose. But he has a half second penalty. Cannot get any closer, that's the problem. Whenever I get close, he just, I don't know, gets the fastest sector. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Half a second behind. He's like two seconds behind me now. 53-0. Yep. P6 at this point. This is nice. Uh, can I get even closer? Next straight, I got him. I just gotta stay close. But it's extremely difficult to stay this close. Maybe. Uh, tires. I'm shredding the tires here. Oh, 
probably got another one out of the pits. Come on, car, come on. Oh, I'm gonna squeeze myself in here. Is no, he's gonna let me pass, isn't he? Not the fight that I wanted. Not an easy place. I guess he just doesn't want to lose any more time because if, even if we lose like a second more, that's gonna mean like two more places. In the end, of course. Okay, P4 already and the other guys didn't pit yet. He wants to keep the slipstream and fight it out in the last two laps. Oh yeah. Seventeen point six seconds to P three. Got it. Let's go to the limit. Come on. Don't touch the wall. Okay, he's half a second behind. Kimi behind him, and it goes Zeddy there. I don't want to get a penalty here. It doesn't matter if I lose like 50 thousandths of a second. I just don't want to get a penalty. He's faster here. I need to go defensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He timed it right. Smart driving. That's smart driving. Got him again. Hopefully, I'm gonna get him here. Well, when I say slightly, it was like really, really slightly. Okay, P3. This is the battle for the podium now. Don't get a penalty. Now I'm too far behind. Like getting too far. Uh, free wide there. I don't think I'm gonna get him. You never know, but... And wind is like 7 seconds in front, like... How? Yeah, I think this was really intelligent from him. And in the end he was saving, I think he was just saving up tires a little bit and then sent it. Just send it in the end. Ah. So he got the podium in the end. 
Very good driving, very good driving. Very good. But the wind, like, I don't know what he did with that 4C, but it seems like the 4C is, is slightly a better option. If you can handle that car over the curbs, I think you got a pretty good one. But, uh, yeah, the GTC trend as well is it's a really nice one. It's a really nice one. 